So it's a little weird because when you grow up in Mayapak, every weekend a new Italian kid moves here from the Bronx, from Yonkers, Brooklyn. There was a point in my childhood where I thought that Mayapak was the witness protection program. <laughs> Basically what was happening. That's how I met Frank. Frank is another comic that you'll see later. His family moved here from Brooklyn. And uh, I saw him in school and he's like, hey, my dad's gonna come pick you up for basketball practice today. What's your address? And I'm like, Italians don't play basketball. This is fishy. <laughs> so I gave him my address, went home, took down the street sign. <laughs> so may pack. So in my childhood, um, I started my career here, the young age of five, digging holes for my dad in the backyard. I don't know if this is an Italian thing, but every Saturday and Sunday morning, 8 a.m., woke us up, because the day is almost halfway over. <laughs> and we had to start digging holes. And then he would come and check the hole. And every time he checked, it wasn't big enough. I mean, he would literally come over. That's not big enough. All right, thanks, Dad. I don't need validation. So last year for Father's Day, I bought him an apple tree and I needed to dig a hole. So I dug this massive hole. I was so proud, called him over, Dad, look at this hole. He comes over, he goes, I wouldn't have made it that big. <laughs> yeah, confusing man. I'm the youngest of, of four children, so he offered us uh, $10,000 cash to whoever has the first son. <laughs> Because he just thinks that this stuff can just happen, right? Doesn't even pay for the first year. Um, but I was like, Dad, why is this so important to you? And he's like, well, what about my legacy? I was like, Dad, this isn't Game of Thrones. There's no castle, there's no stockpile of gold to pass down, you know? Plus, you've been telling us you were Italian our whole lives, and you just did a DNA test and found out you're Greek. So the legacy is very confusing.